Hey what's going on guys Pog here and welcome to today's video. In this video I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I find to be the best way to find gold in Minecraft. So the first things first, well I don't know why I used this door to actually exit but we're going to head over to my map tower which is this one right here which is obviously still in construction. But if we look over here guys the best way to find gold in my opinion uh, other than obviously finding those sea temples and getting those blocks of gold from there or you know zombie pigments or other ways that you can possibly get gold or mining when you're finding for diamonds or stuff like that is actually this biome right here so this here is a mesa biome and it seems like you can find a lot of gold in there so pretty much it's like that cool looking biome right there which is this orangish I guess or light brownish uh, let me know guys what color you think that is but we are going to be taking my rail system in order to go there so right over here this is my rail system you guys this is a super super long rail system okay so this definitely requires a lot of gold to make it working this will literally go around the entire world map that i just showed you guys earlier so uh, this is super long. It's not finished yet. So that's why I really need to get a lot of gold and that's why uh, Mesa biome seems like uh, the best way to do it. So as you can see the X right now is zero and then we are at the height of 65 but we're technically heading negative um, 400 ish and you know, so we have to kind of jump out in a bit. Um, it's actually like nearby to a jungle biome and um, that's where I have my second rail system that takes me to the Mesa Biome because this one just literally goes uh, pretty much straight and then makes a right and then goes straight all across and then make a right again and kind of like circles around the entire map which is pretty cool if you ask me but yeah so here's where we're gonna have to jump in a bit as you can see over here we're about to reach the center of the Mesa Biome right there uh, pretty equal to it but this is where it is so this here once it goes up it's pretty much this jungle biome and then this right here is another rail system that I'm talking about and this one here allows you to come back from the mesa biome and then automatically land on this and that pretty much takes you back home um, so right here I'm gonna be taking this rail minecart obviously because I need it and well that takes forever to break with and but yeah so then we take this next rail system which takes me into the mesa biome which is pretty awesome so if you guys have a mesa biome that's super far away definitely it's worth it to go ahead and build yourself a nice rail system that takes you there because it literally will save you so much time um, to go ahead and head there whenever you need gold um, so yeah definitely it's super worth it and this right here as you can see now we're kind of stuck at 1250 negative um, and then we're kind of heading negative um, all the way kind of closer to the mess of them and you guys can definitely see on the map itself once we reach this map because right now we're crossing through multiple maps but right now we're not in the map that the mess of them is currently on um, and I do know that I can definitely put the map on my left hand just like that which is pretty awesome I guess I should do it why not let's just hold it on the left hand but yeah so of course you could have easily get gold from the temples um, the sea temples which I definitely did take the gold from there already um, so it's kind of like I know I could possibly find some okay so I'll still this minecart actually because that'll be like always getting on the way but yeah so I did definitely um, take most of the gold from the sea temples that I found so technically all I have left really the ones if there's more sea temples but like what I'm literally left with is literally just mining the gold myself and of course if you're looking for diamonds and you strip mining for diamonds uh, that's another way to look for gold but I find it that it's so much easier to find gold in the mesa biome so now whenever you reach to the mesa biome uh oh no no cow why would you do that but yeah so let's say when you reach the mesa biome you can totally uh, go ahead and explore caves uh, that are around the mesa biome and that's another awesome way to actually find a lot of gold the other one is obviously is to explore the um, other parts oh my god why am i keep doing the same thing um <laughs> the cow is annoying to be honest uh, and the minecart needs to stop going away from me all right so of course you can um 
Okay, let me just try to concentrate. I'm going to walk my way here because I don't want to deal with that cow again. Uh, but pretty much whenever um, you're in the Mesa Biome, you, you have kind of options where one of them is obviously um, to explore the caves and find a lot of um, gold from there or to pretty much uh, strip mine. And I find that strip mining works one of the best ways. So here we are reaching to the Mesa Biome. As you can see now, we're in that current map right there which is pretty cool and then what I did I ended up making a mine shaft just for gold and you guys can kind of um, mine your way um, the way you like I personally think that the I believe 37 height is also a very good height to mine um, but like you can kind of uh, play around and understand which sides you want to mine so what you want to do is pretty much come to the edge of the um, edge of the uh, mesa biome, as you can see, I'm right here, and create yourself this uh, little staircase that kind of goes downwards, as you can see here, and you can also see the level that I'm currently on, and as you can see, that's 36, 37. So I, I think these are like nice sweet spots whenever you're searching for gold. And if I'm looking this way, as you can see, we're kind of going uh, towards the entire uh, Mesa biome. And then we also have this side that I have to mine. And then we're going to skip two blocks and then mine this one and kind of repeating it on and on. And we technically have a stop point over there as well. So before I obviously go ahead and try to do this and show you guys um, all the gold that we can possibly find. And again, you can kind of uh, go up two blocks in the mine on top of that uh, height. Uh, pick the height that works best for your world. It seems like the height of 36, 37 works the best for me for this particular world. So I'm not sure if this works best way to all the world um, that you guys have, but it definitely works great for me. Um, and this is like quite a bit of gold and stuff I have right there. Uh, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two stacks of torches. I'll take the sword and all that. And then we're going to literally go down there and hope for the best. So I have a feeling I'll be finding quite a bit of stuff. And I'm really hoping that everything goes out as planned. Maybe it'll be a good idea to go ahead and quickly organize all this. I wish I brought a shovel with me. Uh, so don't forget that, you guys. And maybe sometimes you should have water buckets uh, with you as well because that could be pretty useful. But yeah, so here we are. I've got I'm breaking three silk touch one and efficiency five pickaxe And I don't understand how exactly did I break that torch there? But yeah, so pretty much just gonna strip mine like this. You just want to mine straight uh, Completely straight and this will be also awesome because you're gonna find a lot of coal like literally I mean there it is a lot of coal um, you're also gonna be finding a lot of iron and you're also going to be finding quite a bit of gold. So definitely it's like a great way to get resources, the, the good stuff. So you can smelt all the um, all the iron you want using this coal. And you can make so many torches to continue strip mining. And again, you can obviously, whenever you find a cave while even strip mining, you can obviously um, just go ahead and explore that cave if you like. Again, I personally feel like strip mining just is a little bit more safer and funner uh, because you end up getting a lot of um, a lot of resources. And again, do not skip mining coal. So like if you see coal, mine it because it could actually connect to gold while you're mining it, example. So in this case, it seems like it did not or technically connected it to another coal. As you can see, like look at the amount of coal I'm literally finding right now. And again, this coal could possibly connect it uh, to gold as well. So it seems like it did not. I'm going to dig around it just to show you guys. It could possibly um, help you connect to gold, but it seemed like it did not. So, But I'm happy because I did find quite a bit of uh, coal right there. So that was pretty awesome. And here we were. And I have to pretty much head this way right now and continue strip mining like this and we're obviously gonna be finding some more coal and iron um obviously because that's that's just literally what's gonna be here a lot and you can see on the map that i'm already mining literally underneath the mesa bam which is exactly what you want to do and that's kind of how you'll find quite a bit of stuff so hopefully around here somewhere i'll start finding gold and if i don't find gold on this strip mine in particular i will find it on my way back so that's that's the other way it's kind of like when you're looking for diamonds but right now we're just gonna dig this until we reach the end point and if 
if we don't find any gold hopefully we have a high chance to find it on my way back so here we are and this definitely has been something that i collected already and we're gonna put the torch there and we're about i guess we're like a bit over the center right now on the map itself it's kind of nice to see um like the map that you're holding to see exactly where you are at the moment because i think this could be a very easy way to actually know exactly where to put your stop point um so yeah that's kind of could be helpful as you can see i've done some more mines around there uh, so yeah like i said uh do your best just kind of um look around and see what works best for your particular world uh for me it seems like 36 37 works the best and i also obviously would still rather mine around as well but this is kind of where my uh, strip mining is and there it is so we did find gold right there so we have like about um it seems like i got seven pieces of gold already which is very nice again you could literally find a lot more gold if you were in caves because if you're in caves it's not as safe but at the same time you could possibly find it there's some more strip mines around there this is kind of crazy with all the minings that i've done around here but again i need all the gold to actually get the rail system uh, working fully so there it is we found some iron right here and it seems like that's iron as well so let me get that as you can see this is pretty much the one that i was mining before this one and here we are to be done with the end point all right so whenever you reach the end point obviously now we're gonna mine two blocks away okay and obviously whenever we're back here uh, we want to expand this end point as well so that we can obviously uh, know where to stop. So now I'm gonna head my way back, mining this way, and hoping that I'll find some more gold, and maybe I should put the gold around here, and to see how many I'll find. And of course, you're gonna find a lot of smooth stone as well, so if you're building any crazy towers, any cool buildings that requires a lot of smooth stone, or a cobblestone or whatever it's definitely gonna help out there it is more iron right over here and again always mine oh my god do not dig the block you're standing on because it could be lava underneath it um so or a big drop to a ravine or something and definitely not gonna be good for you so uh always pay attention when you're mining but yeah so um what was i saying but yeah so i i literally forgot what i was saying because of that drop there but hopefully it comes back in my brain again um but yeah so right now i'm just gonna continue on and hope that i'll find some gold there it is awesome okay that's that's great there's like eight pieces i think right here oh yeah so i was saying like don't skip iron and then mine it because there could be gold underneath it um which apparently uh i'm not being lucky enough to show you guys um but yeah so there it is more gold right there see see what i was saying if you can't find a lot of gold on one side you're totally gonna find it on the other side um, and again, this the, probably depends on your world, but give it a shot the hype that I'm doing this. And if it doesn't work out for you, then obviously um, just try to find the best level for yours. Look at this, you guys. I mean, look at this thing. This is how awesomely you can literally uh, go ahead and collect gold. Like, look at this, you guys. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Like, this is crazy uh, with the amount of gold you can literally find right here doing this. So... Um, again, next one might not be as good as this one, or it might be even better than this one. You never really know. And again, I'm mining on the 36th height, as you can probably tell. So, um, there it is, <laughs> literally working. And please bring with you a shovel, because it's definitely going to help out. I, I, I don't know why I don't have it here, but I thought I might have had it in the chest, but apparently it did not, unfortunately. So, huh, I cannot believe all the gold you can literally find here. And remember, you can explore caves. And have a higher chance to find more gold, but uh, because you kind of see all the gold, but then again, when you're trying to reach the gold, you could be um, shot down by a skeleton or a creeper or whatever. And when you strip mining like this, you're kind of much secure as you can see more and more gold right here. But it's just so much safer because you don't have to worry about anything. Look at this gold, you guys. I mean, this is crazy. Uh, 41 piece of gold already, you guys. This is how awesome this literally is like make sure you guys give it a shot find yourself a mess about in your beautiful world and kind of do this thing and you'll be so happy because all of the gold that you can find is just amazing it's such a good feeling all right so gonna build my way up right here just so that i'm in the in the proper level and then we also got this and there could be actually gold above you as well so uh again it all depends and yes i have found gold above this as well so it all depends and 
I did not find any gold connecting to that coal. I really wish I could. Oh my god, look at that. Uh, this one is a very, very good one. This mine right here, guys. This is uh, this is something else. I don't know if I've been this lucky to find this many gold in one strip mine. I mean, this is insane if you ask me. But you know what? Uh, I'm pretty happy uh, because it's working. I That's more mines probably down there. Um, again, this place is like really like mined a lot. Um, but yeah, so here we are probably reaching the, uh, the the mining entrance right here somewhere around here I guess I should say um, and Let's see anything around here There we go. Okay, so nothing around there But we did reach to the mining entrance as you guys can probably tell I'm gonna probably put a torch around here so that we got a nice amount of lighting You know what I have some more inventory space again you guys I'm gonna go ahead and strip mine this side as well and then I'm gonna walk my way back uh, the next one uh, just so we can see if we find some more gold around here if we do that'll be nice if we don't then again uh, We did find a lot on the other side as you could probably tell 53 I 53 gold is what I've got there and I've got like quite a bit of like a stack there of coal And then we've got the eight piece and then also the 16 iron so surprisingly enough. I haven't found a lot of iron um, but Maybe this strip mine here will be the iron, but no, it's actually more gold, which is awesome because again, this is a this is a how-to video, this is a tutorial, this is like the best way you guys can find gold in my opinion. Like this is how I find gold and I'm talking about mining, I'm not talking about having like a gold um, farm or whatever, like I'm talking about actually enjoying the mine that you're doing because I literally love mining and this is, this is just so much fun to do and you can get so many resources while doing this, especially if you have an efficiency 5 pickaxe you guys, I mean look how quickly I'm mining through this uh, the strip mine right here, like the, the pickaxe definitely does a great job for sure, so we found some gold there. But doesn't seem like I found anything more, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if we'll find as much as we did on the other one because it seems like that we did find quite a bit of gold on the other side. So definitely, probably not. But if it is, then oh my god, that'll be amazing. But it seems like I took almost all of the gold that were on the other side. And now we're finding more iron, which is okay. I mean, I'm here to find gold, but I'll definitely take the iron. It's very useful whenever you're building a beacon and stuff and you need to fully power it and stuff, but there it is. Okay, so we got, oh wow, that's like two gold in like one place. Like, that's amazing. Look at that thing. Like, there's one on the seal. That's one. Oh, I thought that was gonna connect like more gold, but apparently it didn't, unfortunately. But yeah, that's, that's okay, whatever. Um, we're about to reach to the end point as you guys can probably tell looking at the map and Yeah, this this definitely doesn't feel great uh, mining the dirt with the uh, Pickaxe definitely didn't feel that great But probably will find some more gold on my way there and I wish I could have actually found um, I wish I could have actually found some some way of showing you that uh, iron could connect it to uh, gold example, so like I wish I could have shown you that you guys, but it seems like um, It didn't happen But because I have more inventory space and I've got like more torches I guess I could mine my way back and again. This is like one of the strip mines not sure what that is, but Of course, I've I've ex like I just destroyed this place to be honest It's like so many crazy mines all around it Like trying to find the sweet spot or the sweet mine, sweet height, or whatever. Okay, so technically it seems like I'm I'm under the water, like the ocean part, um, by now. But then the other side will technically connect to it, right? Which is actually, oh, it's ab absolutely this side. But you know what? We'll just mine this one, and then we can kind of stop there. But what I'll do is, I just kind of mine like this, and then get this all working out. Just like that, so that we'll know exactly where the end point is. Example, right here, okay. Beautiful, all right. And then we're gonna be working on the other side, technically, so. All right, so I don't know, I'll, I guess I'll block this, and then I just have to work on this one, and kind of go straight, and see how many gold I can find around here. So I'm gonna also uh, pretty much uh, get rid of that, and put that in there. So we can kind of see. So I guess for it being a little dark. Okay, so there is some coal around here, which is nice. And is this going to connect me to gold? Let's see. 
It possibly could, but again, okay, so it connected me to an iron. And then let's see if the iron can actually connect me to gold. Seems like it did not. Okay, well that iron could have been gold. And it did happen to me multiple times, so... Definitely it's just not happening for me to show you guys in video, but... It could definitely connect it to, um... Connect it to being gold, instead of something else. There's some more strip mine, I guess, above there. I wonder if there's more up here. Yeah, look at that, you guys. There's actually, like, crazy amount of strip mine, like, above me and stuff. Oh, wow, more gold. Nice. Oh, wow, that goes over. Oh, it even goes down there. That's great. But, yeah, so if I dig up, look at that. The amount of strip mines in here is kind of insane. Like, that's how many strip mines I've done to try to find this weak level. So, I mean, give it a shot to you guys on your world, and then... If it doesn't work out, then try to like mine around the mesopam, like the heights, and see which one works better for your world. And hopefully this 36 is kind of where, like, it will be like a such a nice level for you guys to mine and get your own strip mine going. But again, let me know guys in the comments below uh, what height works for you, if this worked for you and stuff, because uh, it'll definitely help out a lot of other people, you know, if you said that like your own world uh, like which way works the best for you um, it's definitely gonna help out others as well because they can try those numbers as well so make sure you guys let them know in the comments below let me know in the comments below and stuff it'll be definitely be appreciated uh, but yeah so definitely doesn't seem like we have that much gold around here to be honest um, then well well just as I speak of it well I'll be happy to take it thank you very much and we are soon to be reaching the mining entrance and we'll see at the end how many i've got by just mining uh for these uh, pretty much and doesn't look like anything else around here oh never mind there is iron oh my god stop mining that bug and my pickaxe isn't doing that well so i literally hope i can reach there um before it's too late and there we go Wow, I cannot believe that it doesn't connect to gold. Like, usually, like, it happened to me a lot where it was coal, and then it led to iron, and then led to, like, gold, and then it was iron, led to me uh, to get coal, and then it led to getting, like, gold. But definitely not happening right now, unfortunately. So I can't really show you guys that. Um, and here we are pretty much about to be reaching the entrance, I think. I hear some water. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but I hear some water. And hopefully, guys, we will make it before my pickaxe break. I don't I don't think it will break. I feel like I'll literally make it before it does do anything crazy. And come on. There we go. Okay, so that was nice. And maybe it'll be a good idea to kind of finish this side completely off because it'll be technically like this right here. And then it'll be this one. And then it'll be like finished and then we have to kind of do I have to kind of mine the other side so yeah let's see all the stuff that I found you guys so I've got this amount of coal look at the amount of smooth stone I found uh, 13 and then 64 so this is literally a stack and then 13 gold ore is what I found so uh, let me know guys what do you think again find yourself a nice mess of in your beautiful world and also go down to the 36th height and start mining around like this. Just get yourself a nice strip mine going. Skip every two blocks. And hopefully you guys will end up finding this much gold in this, such a short period of time. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more videos and tutorials. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.